Oh yeah, Orwa Usopp here, back with more Back to the Future, Part 4, Double Visions, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. What do we do now? Now we wait for the gods to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Your time machine, dude, but, well, ours, I guess. Alright, here comes Dad, I'm sure the- Whoa! Alright, Dad. Dude! That Where was... is the DeLorean, anyway? I had the wreck code to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? Awesome. As in Clara Clayton? Why is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. I just knew he'd say that. Smoochies! Mom, Dad, no! Smoochy boochies! Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. Yeah, I guess. guess. you're right. I guess. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. The coast Let's is go toast. Fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, well from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox. After we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang shouldn't out that mean here Marty fixes it himself while the, the doc machine? who won't exist anymore exactly. doesn't Don't fix it? Worry. Oh well. Things work out according to plan. You won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real doc. See, we're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. He's a lot happier already. Oh, All he had to do is ditch his wife, and he's a happy man. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. No, I'm not saying that's a standard for stay marriages. Stay off the street. Citizen Brown? Hello? I may be a goofy antisocial nutball, but I believe marriage is right for some people. I tried love once. It hurt. How I get out of here? Click on myself. Click on this. Click on that. How do I... I need out. I need out of this doohickey majever. Uh, sorry about that. He's not coming back, you know. I think he was frozen. What are you talking about? I don't know why I'm having Damn these freeze ups. Without me to I really don't. him, he's almost useless. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built. Yeah, bullcrap. That just seems hurtful. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. What's all over her, anyway? You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean. And a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, He too. did that, too, yeah. So there, poo. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Speaking of Emmett, where is he? Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. He doesn't even seem. I'm in the present. The next, I'm six months in the past. Oh man! He doesn't seem to notice Edna. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Dude, it fell six off a billboard. My family fortune had a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals, but it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't. <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I sent the repair time service to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. Yeah, I'm nothing at all. Minor miscalibration oh, yeah, just a minor miscalibration in the thing yeah. that shifts well, the time-space continuum. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, 
our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? You don't have to call it the worst mistake of your life right there in front of her. Oh well. Leave. I mean, for all of her evil, she thinks she's doing the right thing. I personally, I'm a wuss, but I guess in this way, but I believe you shouldn't even... You shouldn't have to crush the souls of your enemies. Unless they're actively malicious. She's actively malicious, but she really, really thinks she's doing a good thing. Time circuit said for August Those can be the worst kinds. Fanatics. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Yay! We disappeared! Where did we go? I'm scared! Oh wait, never mind, that's supposed to happen. Oh man, two blazing tire tracks is an image that is burned into my nostalgia forever and a day. Alright, how long is this going to take? Dun, 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 dun. There we go. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Oh, luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Yeah, I know. What about it? Uh huh. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in '71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Yes. Ah, you dirty rat. No good yellow belly stool. Yep. Never did they got the line right. Though. They got the line right. Uh, just a little bit of stupid movie trivia. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. One of the most famous lines in movie history. No one. They never actually said it that way. But you're going to. That's what we're here for. Remember? Right. Of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. Yes, you still that. Got no memory of what that notion was. It never happened Come here. On. It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. And Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. All right. Get my younger selfie inspired by that movie. Nothing will distract him from his proper. <gasps> proper. Wait, stop. <clears throat> you look at that. What are we looking at? Oh, the townhouse. Town square. Town square. Yeah, it's it got struck by lightning and rebuilt. Only dirty. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc. You need to. Go inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You yeah. Mean, right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. Man, I'll he's... Let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, your Carl Sagan. Dressed up a... Billions, a billions guy? <laughs> no, the arsonist. arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Okay. He's all dressed up like Colonel Sanders. Ooh. Let's go check out Colonel Sanders Emmett now. Unless you're chicken. Alright. And if you are, it doesn't matter. Because I'm doing this, not you. Harry! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, here and there. <laughs> You're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> imagine! Yeah, imagine. Yeah, well, girls are great and all, but don't get carried away. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. 
finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Bull! You'll figure it out, Emmett. You only need a bolt of inspiration, that's all. Maybe if you went to a... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. The jiggy jig wah wah What day is it? Why, it's opening day! The opening day of the expo! Which Ooh. reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay! Crap, Get the drifting around, time Bella circuits! Hand. October 12th! Doc? Doc! Run! Run like a monkey! So did Doc go check out the courthouse, or did he just stand in the doorway? Like, a Okay, he's obviously in there. Why did that happen? Oh well. A brief view of my Game Any One page. My Game Any One page. Yes. Come to figure it. Found him quick. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start, and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Plungy. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in '86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, who worse? The me the me the Mesozoic. And we're stuck. For the time being, I'll look into the, the me problem. The, me the Mesozoic. In the meantime, you can go to work. Why am I having so many glitches problem. today? I don't know. Why I'm having so many glitches. It's a bother and frightening. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of... Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Okay. Me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. So, Emma. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. In other words, as a car. Yes. It should still function as a car, which is a good thing. Because it has to drive 88 miles an hour to be a time machine. Calls of the future! Well, at least we got a disguise for our car ready hand at hand. <laughs> Some guy crawling around. That guy You're looks right. cranky. There she is. My soon hey, Artie! Life is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuit and... Ah! I'll talk to her. Yeah, I'll talk to her. You better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All Car of the Future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Ask me nicely, politely. How about a please, buddy? Good luck! Well, we're almost out of time, but not quite, so I'm going to look around the event a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we have our, our grandfather... <coughs> Excuse me, our grandfather and Miss Strickland. Here we have some kind of cranky Poindexter. By the way, I was right, he did look cranky. Well, he looks very sallow-faced. It's not right of me to assume he's cranky because he's thin-faced. And here's a truck. And it's not a yellow truck. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!